How you doing? How you doing? How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Patty. And uh, real quick, before we get into the topic of the video today, um, I just want to say I love you guys. Uh, we just hit, um, we got approved for the YouTube Partner Program. So we made it. Um, we also just passed 1,500 subs. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, channel's just over, just over three months old now. Um, and, and we, we doing good. I'm usually not one of those people that can give myself credit for anything, but we doing okay. Y'all we doing all right. I'm, I'm almost to the point where I'm proud of me. We still got a while. We still got a while anyways. Um, so we're actually going to be looking at something a little bit different than what we normally do today. Um, we're going to be talking about some game theory. Um, your boy spent, <sighs> Honestly, once you see what they look like, entirely too long putting all of these slides together. <laughs> um, but I wanted to make a video that, um, that where we start to kind of look at some of the things that will make a difference in how you're playing. Um, if you're running groups and everything and you're the leader, it's definitely going to make a difference because I thought of this um, from just watching me auto in dungeons and be like, there's a there's a mob right behind us just right behind us so we're going to be talking about positioning and then grouping and then kind of how you move around or what's are going to be some of the best decisions to make depending on the situation you're in this is going to be really basic stuff um, I hope to do some more complicated ones in the future um, and I also hope to up the level of info you can't see my hand up the level of infographics that we're making um so that stuff is just a little bit clear but we'll get there we'll get there we'll get there petty's trying y'all he's trying um so let's go ahead and just jump right into it um so we should be starting off with ranged if i remember correctly we are hooray so obviously red dots are enemies and white dot is you all right so let real quick before we start getting too ahead of ourselves if this was you what direction you running in if you're ranged are you gonna go back off to the side man i really should have put a compass on here all right so just north south east and west you know what i mean up down left right however you want to say it if you were in white's position right now would you run to the right would you run to the left are you just running straight back where are you going so this is kind of what we're gonna be talking about um, in the video and as we're going through the slides, we're gonna be explaining a little bit why. Uh, this is gonna be pretty applicable to any ranged class. So gunslinger, soul dancer, assassin. Um, there's gonna be some differences for everybody. So assassins, um, for instance, have a you know a <clears throat> move that will suck everything towards it as like a little gravity well. That makes grouping super, 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 super easy. Um, but say that moves on cooldown, it's still important to know these things. Everybody else, it's going to matter a little bit more how you're moving, where you're moving, um, to make sure that you're getting as many hits on targets and as many targets as possible to best, you know, increase your damage. If you're in a leader, if you're a leader in a group and everyone's auto following on you, this is going to mean everybody's doing more damage because they're just doing the same things you are. Um, so this will this will help across the board. So, what did you decide? You going right? You going left? Where are you going, boo? Where are you going? You should probably be going to the left. Reason we want to do that is we want to get things on more equal ground. So if we look back where everyone's starting here. As we move this way, these two would actually be a little bit closer. None of this is super to scale. I did my very best, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you want to move to the right so that when you start engaging things, they're all going to be together. They're all going to be getting hit by all of your skills. You're not just going to catch the two on the end, you know, with your first couple of skills and everything. <clears throat> You really want to be able to, and you want to keep fading left. You don't want to go just a little bit left and say, okay, they're all going to just run straight at me at this point. Remember, these two are going to be a little bit closer because they started closest to you when you started moving this direction. So they'll be falling in a little bit before these guys will. 
and be about, uh, I don't know if you can actually see where my mouse is and everything on the screen. That's frustrating. Um, they're going to be just a little bit down. The two on the uh, uh, right side is what I'm talking about right now. So the two that you started closer to would be a little bit closer than I have them in this picture. Um, <clears throat> and you want to try and get them all to you around the same time. So you want to keep going that left direction until they start getting uh, tighter in your group. Once they're all relatively close, you want to hook off to either the left or right side to get them grouped up. At least if they're still in a similar-ish line than this. Um, if these two are, you know, a little bit closer than these two, then you would definitely hook around to this side because this would group them all up. Um, a little bit faster. If you tried to go around to the left side here with these two being a little bit closer, I'm really bad at math, guys. Blame Amer uh, yeah, blame American public schools. It's it's not my fault, I swear. Um, but that little hook will help you get everybody nice and tight there. And you should, you know, as a soul dancer or uh, any of the ranged and everything, you should be hitting just about everybody with all of your attacks that you're casting at this point. This will have will give you the most damage. It'll waste your cooldowns the least uh, because they're being used on everybody. If you started popping your cooldowns all the way here back on this first step and started blowing up these two guys, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. You want to get that nice, tight grouping. <clears throat> and then at this point, you would essentially just start kiting them around and running in whatever direction. If you only had the space that you see in this square to run, say this, you know, was the map and everything out of that was outside of bounds, you would want to go off to the right side and then start hooking up and everything and just start leading those guys around in a big circle. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, not, not too terribly, terribly complicated. Um, Melee is going to be a little bit different. So let's go ahead and talk about them real fast. So if you're a melee person, obviously you're not going to want to take the let me run away from everybody approach. You're going to want to be a little bit more direct, but you're still want to going to want to prioritize grouping so that you're, you know, using your skills efficiently. You're getting damage, you know, at at the best damage that you can from the situation. It'll just make your damage bigger, guys. Do it do whatever Petty says. All right, so most melee, you know, will have a closing distance move. Fighter's not out yet, but from the skill previews uh, Dragon Raja team's been showing on Facebook, I think it's safe to guess that they're going to have a closed distance skill. Um, also goes for assassins when they're in uh, their shadow form and everything. You've got a little dash there, buddy. This is a situation where that little dash is going to be real important. So on this next one... I, you know, we probably could have played Blue's Clues for a second, but I don't want to make this a 20-long video. You want to use whatever your distance closing move is on the... He's going to be whatever's the closest to you and closest to the middle point of the group. Now, if we, you know, <clears throat> charge this guy on the outside first, we're not going to get the same benefit than we do if we pick this one that's, um, you know, second from the right. If we charge at him... He just about all of the charge skills have a delay or some effect like that. So, A, you're not going to instantly get hit by this person because they're going to be, you know, either going up in the air or they're going to have delay for a second from you doing your thing. That gives you the opportunity to run to the other side of him and start going in a north, uh, west ish kind of direction. So at this point, he should be recovering from the de delay and everybody should be closing in on you. You keep going backwards and it, you don't have to like look and run that direction. Just, just walk backwards so that way if any of these guys are close enough to actually hit you, you can melee them as you're stepping back. But charging that line, getting the stun on one and then crossing over him and then you know basically gathering the group on the other side of the monsters is 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 going to be your friend there um you're going to be able to hit everybody you're going to get the most damage and again if you're the leader of the group and you do something like this it's you're not going to have a bunch of people behind you and that's really really just wasting everybody's time 
Petty's not making this entire video to try and shave 10 seconds off his dragon hunting teams. No, no, not at all. All right, so let's say there's not a super, super pretty line of these guys for you to stand there and appreciate. Imagine you're surrounded. What are you going to do? Really, what, what, uh, what's, what's your first guess? Which direction would you be going here? <clears throat> do you want to, you know, chase the guy that's furthest away? And actually, just to, I know I said stuff wasn't super exact. I paid pretty particular attention <laughs> to how I laid these ones out. So one of the two on the left or right side is actually a little bit closer than the other one is. So let me let me go ahead and just take all of the suspense out of here. Where's it going to go? Where's it going to go? Oh, it went this way. <clears throat> so why did we pick the guy um, to the left or to the west? So he's not only a little bit closer um, than this guy is over here, but because of where the north and south dots are positioned, um, it, you're not going to get a nice even... Um, meeting in the middle i i could probably have taken more time to figure out some better words for this i'm not a worder guys i still learn things from solana int okay again thank the american public uh, school system <sighs> but we want to go off to the left side um because a that guy's a little bit closer b that's going to give the two um that's above and below us time to close in and for us to do the same thing we did with the melee where we go and get on the outside of the one that we uh, tried to engage on initially and now we're on the other side of um, you know the guy that was furthest to the left the two that were top and bottom should now be closing in they might not exactly be in this position they might be closer to being on a flanking side of uh, the guy that you just crossed over but the point is that the three of them are going to be there. They're going to be at the party. Um, the fourth guy, he might miss one of your first skills or two in your rotation. But at this point, I would start engaging since you have the main body of the people here. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, it's we'll, we'll, we'll try to go more in-depth with these and make this a little bit prettier, maybe with something to indicate what direction I have the people facing, maybe some arrows. Let me know what you guys think and any input you have um, because I like doing things like this and trying to get more into the theory and you know how and why you make certain decisions and when and where you make them versus just saying, this is the best, this is the most top meta thing. Because um, again, it, you know, Learning this in this game will help you in other games moving forward. This is not the game where I learn the benefits of, you know, using movements like this to maximize my damage. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any suggestions for the next one or any certain specific scenarios that you'd be curious about. And um, we can also, you know, try and use actual dungeon maps as an overlay for a background next time. If we want to get into specific fights, go like full old school raid uh explanation videos from back in wrath oh well we'll do something but i appreciate your faces thank you so much for the 1500 if you haven't joined the 1500 and you would like to make that number bigger just you know click subscribe down below i appreciate your face all right y'all it's been your boy patty and i think we out of here deuces <laughs>